Welcome to Simulator Adventures and welcome back to BeamNG. Today we're having a look at the FPS Trapez, an Eastern European car that's based on the FSO Polonez. I'm really looking forward to trying this. There's not that many of these kind of cars in this game. And I have to say, it has that kind of Soviet era vibe, kind of uh, function over form. But actually, you know what? I think it looks pretty good. This is the Carol edition, I think it's called. Um, I'll show you all the different versions of this mod. Yeah, this is, no, the Coral version, excuse me. 1.6 litre engine, standard equipment. It says, how many horsepower? It doesn't actually say. But uh, we're going to go for a drive in this retro Polish saloon car, family car. Oh, yeah. L I mean, this interior has got to be one of the nicest I've seen ever. It really looks great. Anyway, let's go. Not the most powerful car, but that's what you expect, really. It's got very, very soft suspension. So you can kind of chuck it into corners and it actually hangs on quite well in the corners. Let's not go into the motorway, that's pretty boring. Let's go and do some town driving in this or in this little family car. Right, here we go. Narrow street down here. We're on Italy, which I thought was the best place to test this. Oh yeah. Look at that parcel shelf. God, you could fit a lot on there. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, a bit of a bit of a wrecked front now. But yeah, the, the damage modelling is really good. Um, this mod is still in beta, like alpha actually, I think. So uh, I will leave a link to it down in the description below, but expect more updates from it in the future. Whoa. Yeah, I think it's rear-wheel drive, actually. Yeah, it's rear-wheel drive. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Oh, bit of a jump here. Oh, my goodness, this car's going to be wrecked. Oil pan damaged, yeah. I think the crash physics are really good on this. Anyway, so let's move to something a little bit more fruity, something with more power. We're going to go for the our Coral Custom, the Ochiapari, with a custom body kit. That sounds cool. 9,500 value, uh, 84 brake horsepower, which is, you know, that's not bad. A light car like this. Whoa. I mean, look at that spoiler. Right now, we're going to do a bit of motorway driving with this thing. So, yeah, this was produced, or the real life version, the episode Pondance, was produced from the 1970s up to the 2000s. And it was produced in a, lots of different countries, but they made over a million of them in Poland, which is where FSO was based. And yeah, this is just a, I, f I guess in Poland, this is a really famous car, right? A lot of countries, I mean, in Britain, a similar comparable car from the same area would be like the, I don't know, the Austin Montego, something like that, or a Morris Marina, I don't know. But um, you see, those cars in Britain, they died after like 10 years. But in, in Eastern Europe, they built these cars right from the Soviet era up to the 2000s. And in Russia, I think they still build like the Lada Samara and stuff like that. Whoa, whoa. Oh, there goes the boot open. Oh, yeah, the, the crash physics are really good. Really good. And look at that. The engine looks really well modelled. So yeah, well done to the mod creator. You've, you've made an amazing mod here. Now, one thing I want to do. Let's choose the... Oh, we're going to have a look at the police variant later. We're going to do the, the M89, which is what? A carbureted 1.5 engine and standard equipment. Let's make it yellow. I don't know if this is going to work. Now, for some reason, selecting the colour there doesn't work. But I wonder if it'll work in here. Yeah, there you go. You can select colours in here. Yellow. Oh, yeah, look at these red seats as well. So we've got a roof rack. We're going to add something to the roof rack. I don't know what. Roof accessory. Here it is. Um, load. We're going to put a, a mattress on top. Oh, yes, mattress. Uh, and we've got a towing hook, so I think we should use that. Let's put a travel trailer, standard, 1120kg. Oh, it's not going to spawn in the wall, is it? No. Okay. Here we go. Let's do some hauling. We're, we're a Polish family in the 1980s going on a holiday in Italy, I guess. Okay, here we go. Lock. Yes. Oh, I think you can open the boot. Did you see that? What was that? There was like a yellow thing that came up. I don't know what that is. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay. Now look at that interior. Look at the dashboard. Red seats and that dashboard is so 80s, it hurts. Oh my goodness, and the clock works. That is actually the real world time. Now the mirrors aren't helping me a lot. 
Uh, all I can see is the caravan. Let's put the lights on. Oh, look, at they light up in line. Oh, yes. This is so cool. There are not enough cars like this in this game. Oh, I'm loving it. Okay. Top speed test. 45. Not, not really very fast, is it? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, please, if you want me to look at more mods like this, any mod, really, I'm into. Um... I like, I like doing things that perhaps like not sort of extreme, like just kind of run-of-the-mill cars. Because I think some of those are like the best looking. Like there was the ETK A series, the, the original VW Golf mod, which um, looks amazing. And, and, you know, the repository is full of cars that, while you know what kind of car they're based on, oh my goodness, while you know what kind of car they're based on, they've like lightly modified the name and the styling to make it kind of in keeping with BeamNG's fake brand... Um, kind of ethos. You know, they don't want to get in trouble with any, like, Mercedes or VW or whatever, so they, they make these cars that look like real cars and then um, give them a different brand name that's, like, slightly funny or something like that. This is called the FPS Trapez, so that's really close to F FSO Polonaise, isn't it? Um, anyway, what happens when we brake? Lots of wheel spin. Wheel spin? Lots of sliding, I mean. Okay, so it's time for the fabled police variant and we're going to try and do a like a police chase leave the um leave that there now what car can we use that will be like equal to this maybe see not many we're going to go for the pigeon and we're going to go for the pigeon van plus so yeah let's see what happens uh traffic flee off he goes. Right. Shift and N. There we go. Bit of wheel spin. Can we catch up with a pigeon? N I mean, it's not... We're not that quick at catching up, are we? But we are catching up. I mean, this was just a family car. But can you imagine being a police car and not having that much power? Uh-oh. Like, you'd really struggle, wouldn't you? Well, we've wrecked the car a little bit now. Here we go. You're going down, pigeon. Ram. That's done nothing. Uh, yeah, die. Intense, high-speed Polish police chase. Oh. Oh, my goodness. See, apparently more variants will be added in the future. I've looked at many of them, but um, there is one that I want to look at before we finish. It's like an off-road variant, but we need to go to an off-road area for that. Right, let's make him wreck on the roundabout. There we go. Ooh. Right into the tree. We got him. We got him. Okay, let's find... Whoops. Let's find an off-road area. Yeah, he's completely dead. I think his drive shaft's gone. Um, this looks like it could be quite cool. What's down there? Conca Azura. Sure. So, one of my favourite variants is called the Robber... KJS, which is an amateur rally version, which is pretty cool. It's got a roll cage, this cool little steering wheel. It grips really well. It definitely feels like a much stiffer body. There's not that much body roll. Oh, yeah, better. I wonder if we can find somewhere off-road. I don't know. Whoa. Maybe on the beach would be cool. But yeah, again, the interior. Wow. Loving it. Actually, this is pretty cool. Like, for an urban rally, this is... Ooh! Really good. And you can imagine that this would probably be put into a class where the cars weren't that powerful, right? It says amateur rally, so I'm assuming that there's some kind of amateur rally scene in Poland, I guess. There is in every European country, really. Rally is definitely a European phenomenon. Right, let's, uh, let's go down to the beach, see how this thing handles. Oh, that's where I wanted to go. Damn it. Let's reset. Reverse. We're in kind of a purpley sort of colour. Now look at these lights, first of all. Yeah, look at those. And then the fog lights. Alt and N turns on the fog lights. That's cool. So cool. That's something you might not know about this game. Alt and N is fog lights. Right, here we go. Boing. Whoa, oil pan is damaged, which isn't good. 
And we've, <laughs> we're about to roll it. Oh, no. Okay. This isn't really a rally so much as off-road now. Um, whoa. Tell you what, it's doing well, though. Suspension might be a little bit hard for this. Whoa, whoa. So, yeah. Whoa, whoa. The FPS Trapez, based on the FSO Polonez. Really cool car, something a bit different. It's got that Soviet vibe. Um, definitely, I suppose you can appreciate this if you know a little bit about the car. And perhaps if you're Polish, this is a, this is a mod for you. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I, <laughs> I, can't, I can't finish when it looks like that. Come on. Let's make it look a bit better. Let's do the, um, the pre-lift with this kind of decal down the side. This kind of... It's, it's beige with a red line down the side. Now that is an 80s trim. Look at that. Oh, yeah. The FPS Trapez. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more BeamNG content and join my Discord server for regular giveaways of Steam keys. I will see you soon for some more simulator adventures. Let's do a drift. Oh, sort of. Sort of a drift and into some rocks. And the, there goes the hubcap. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to see more content from my channel and check out these videos to see more simulation gaming on Simulator Adventures.